Welcome back. Today, we will be talking about Chucky, Midget, and the Compton Vario Tortilla Flats gang. Chucky was nine when he ran away from his home in Southgate to hang out with the Compton Tortilla Flats gang. He had been sexually molested by a neighbor after his father abandoned his mother. The T-Flats became his new family. For brothers, he chose Midget and Woody, two veteran members of only a few years older than Chucky. Both had been shot and seriously wounded by rival gangs before Chucky got there in 1993. For a mentor and father figure, he chose Raphael Crook Gamboa. Over the years, Chucky became proficient in fighting, burglary, firearms, and grand theft auto. First, his homeboy and adopted brother Woody and then later Midget spent time in the California Youth Authority prison systems. The T-Flats members were schooled and became loyal Serenos under the leadership of the Mexican Mafia prison gang. Chucky too spent years in juvenile camps and CYA facilities, hardening his Sereno heart. After being sentenced to life in prison and being told by the sentencing judge that he should never be allowed to set foot in free society again, Midget became a Mexican Mafia associate. In 2002, the Mexican Mafia had dispatched Tortilla Flats member Dennis Little Boxer Gonzalez, who was on the run for an attempted murder to basically take over Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, for the Mexican Mafia. The MA had done this before in Albuquerque, New Mexico a few years before this. Fear and intimidation tactics were put to work. Basically, what this means is they will move to another city or another state and have endless supply of drugs. A group of them will approach the local drug dealers and make them an offer they can't refuse to either sell the game's discounted dope or be killed. They call it Plato Obloma, Silver or Lead. Crook's job was to secure large quantities of drugs and drive them from California to Oklahoma City. The last shipment was 10 pounds of high-grade methamphetamine called glass or ice and 100 pounds of marijuana. Crook recruited more T-flats and Compton Vario 70 members for muscle. His adopted son, Chucky, arrived looking to put in work for the Serenos. They approached the local gang members that had relatives and homeboys in the prison system and began recruiting for the Mexican Mafia. Little Boxer Gonzalez also supplied the local Mongol outlaw, outlaw motorcycle gang with their dope. Little Boxer and Gonzalez provided the T-Flats gang members with a hit list of local dealers and gang members that would not pay or resist it in some way his control. Some were Hispanic and one was an African American, but one was different. The target was in LA and he was an LAPD officer. It was later learned that the green light to hit a cop was for LAPD officer Adrian Chin, who had been involved in a shooting incident in LA in February of 2000 in which Tortilla Flats gang member Oscar Ghost Figueroa was shot and killed. At 19 years old, little Chucky was killed in the house of the local drug dealer. The OK City drug dealer was dead also, but rumors began that Crook and Chucky's crime partner, Clumsy, had betrayed and killed their own homeboy. After Chucky's funeral in Palmdale, California, Gamboa was arrested for parole violation. He was very remorseful and under religious conviction. He truly felt guilty for introducing the nine-year-old runaway to the Compton Tortilla Flats gang life and later to his homeboys Woody, Midget, and Little Boxer. Gamboa felt terrible that people were saying that he killed Chucky and yet he really felt that he had helped kill him in another way. Midget's life was over, condemned to solitary confinement in the security housing unit, also called the Shoe. Chucky's life was over as he lay in an unmarked grave forever. And Gamboa's life was over also, unable to return to his home and gang for fear they would murder him. Thank you for tuning in and watching this educational video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.